Okay, there you go. We're going? Yep. Okay. All right, sorry about the interruption, guys. Okay, uh, the uh, uh, we only got a little bit more to go. Okay, but uh, my daughter's phone there was running out of space there, so that's what it is. So uh, we're back again. But I kind of left off here talking about the uh, uh, some of the healthcare issues, the growing gra gap between the hyper rich and the hyper poor. Okay, things like this. All right, uh, 110 temporary Russians control 35% uh, of the budget. There are more billionaires living in Moscow than anywhere else in the world. Okay, uh, think about things like this. Okay, all right. Um, the, the uh, pretty much covered the health care issues, but domestic violence, okay, the unwed mothers, the violence. One woman dies at the hands of her husband or some sort of abuse every hour in this in Russia today. One woman an hour, all right? Um, the suicide rate is three times higher than that of other nations in the world. Um, where do you go further with this? How do you clean all this up? I don't see Putin make any effort to clean it up. Putin is a bluffer, a lot like Nikita Khrushchev was. He makes us think that Russia is such a powerful nation. It's got a state budget the size of Texas. That's it. Okay, all right? Uh, so they're hurting. One of the main reasons they wanted to see... Uh, um, see uh, President Trump come in, okay, and he did meddle in the 1916, uh, sorry, the 2016 election. Hey, that's proven. Okay, read the Mueller report, all right? Uh, they're doing it now again, too, as well, the Russian trolls, the Russian hackers, all right? Uh, one of the reasons was because they knew Trump would remove some of the sanctions. They need American help. They need American credits. They need American advice. Advice. They need American equipment to get at that oil in the Arctic Sea, Okay, all right. Uh, they already claimed that for themselves. They need to get at that stuff. They need to learn how to uh, do the term fracking, which is not a good thing necessarily, but it's a source of income. All right, this is one of the reasons why they wanted to help get Donald Trump elected. Okay, now I'm being political here. It's, it's a known fact. They did do this. They did hack uh, the election. It was in their interest to see that man come in. Okay, whatever you think about him as president, we know that's the background. All right, um... Gang violence, 800 gangs operating in 1996 with 120,000 members each, okay? Uh, the, uh, they've gone international, they've gone global too as well. Kleptocracy, a culture of bribery, $35 billion is stolen from government state contracts every year, all right? 40% of the military budget gets plundered. They'll raid the warehouses taking out weapons, weapons and things like this. Cyber attacks. I mean, this is just, it's become a rogue state. Okay, it's not a very happy way to end the course here. All right, but at any rate, uh, let's, let's indeed wrap it up here. I think I've uh, kind of given you some image here how things are bad there. All right. The style of Russian politi politics for centuries has been authoritarian, and so has been the large degree the mentality of the rulers and the ruled alike. Now, we've seen that in our study of Russian history. It's a study of strong men in power, czars, dictators. This may change. Such revolutions do occur, but they take a long time to unfold. Who knows what Russia is going to be down the road? Okay, it is easy to place one set of rulers with another. It's infinitely more difficult to eradicate the mentality of unfreedom, to inculcate a sense of civic responsibility, initiative, tolerance, and willingness to compromise. These features were never ranked high in the czarist or Bolshevik political agenda. The transformation from a totalitarian state to a democratic system, all right, even a guided democracy, is a period of enormous tension and difficulties. Some leading intellectuals are preaching the virtues of greater tolerance, more freedom of speech, common sense, rather than dictatorial fanaticism in politics. And even the greatest optimists among them feel the need for a strong hand to control the reform for a long time to come. They point to the fact that every reform in Russian history has come from the importation, uh, has come from Top down, okay, Peter the Great, in reforming top down. Stalin, top down, rather than coming up from the people like it does in Western democracies. This is Walter LaCour speaking, I, I, I write, as writing here. He's one of the great Russian uh, theorists, Russian historians. And he says, it takes time. Russians are an unforgiving people, okay, but the future may hold something better. we got to get rid of the oligarchs, the people like Putin, okay, and make it an egalitarian society. All right, uh, and that's not an easy overnight transition. So with all that out there, folks, okay, you've now completed a course in Russian history, the history of Russia. Okay, I hope this system has worked for you. Okay, it was 
moving along like clockwork back in uh, and before the spring break and now it kind of melted down but look at I was able to give you a lecture a week this is the Thursday lecture let's also give you your quizzes online your papers are coming in good to go all right everything has to come in postmarked by Thursday midnight folks okay I'm grading stuff on Friday and we'll put, we'll put it right in the grade book most importantly I wish you guys success in the future I don't know how long I'll be teaching here at OCC I am teaching at Kane still, okay, because it's a once a week class, so it makes it easy for me. Plus, I'm teaching Civil War and World War II, so I, yeah, I got to stay with that. But at any rate, uh, if you ever need to reach out to me, okay, help on a paper, a uh, letter of recommendation, okay, feel free, because I've enjoyed working with you guys. But I don't let you go without one final lousy joke. Some of you had me before in classes, you know what's coming, all right? We've had a magic moment. I've taught you everything I know. This head is completely empty now. Okay, everything I know, all right? So I guess I'm drained, and I guess this course is history. Thanks. Okay, we're good to go.